Coming next summer, Shazam antagonist Black Adam will get his first DCEU movie. More than that, with the signing of Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the lead, the Hollywood legend has finally been cast in a superhero or rather, anti-hero film. Watch this video to find out where Black Adam comes from and what special relationships he has with the superheroes who will be standing in his way. Before we talk about the cast, let's take a closer look at the character of Black Adam. Most of you will probably be unfamiliar with this guy, but he's a recurring foe of Shazam and other superheroes in the DC comics. However, not every version of him is evil. He alternates between the roles of supervillain and anti-hero. 5,000 years ago, Dad Adam was born into slavery in Kandak. His entire family was murdered in front of him, which is why the wizard Shazam chose him to become his first champion. By uttering the name of the wizard, Adam received his powers not from Shazam himself, but from the deity Shu, Heru, Amon, Zehuti, Aton, and Mayan. He defeated his tormentors and became the protector of Egypt. Upon the pharaoh's death, Adam developed his own morals, though. He thus liberated the seven deadly sins for use against his enemies and was given the name of Cat Adam or Black Adam. Once the deadly sins killed all the wizards except for Shazam, the latter confronted his former champion. He was unable to take away his powers, yet he succeeded in separating them from the human body and sealing them in a scarab. Thousands of years later, a young archaeologist named Theo Adam discovered the beetle and unleashed its force. This took over the body of the scientist and initiated a bloody vendetta against Shazam. This is as far as the backstory of Black Adam goes. As in most comics, there are of course many different versions of the hero or anti-hero. However, as the figure of Black Adam has already been briefly hinted at in Shazam, and judging from the images shown in the first teaser, this version from the comic strikes us as the most likely. It is already known that Shazam will not play a direct role in the movie. Nevertheless, he is closely connected with the story of the villain. Even though the good wizard will not be playing a role, a lot is already known about the cast and let us tell you. The DCEU will see lots of new heroes. But first, let's talk about Black Adam. As already stated, he will be portrayed by Hollywood and WWE star Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Thus, he will be following his wrestling colleague John Cena into the DC Universe. The latter played the role of Peacemaker in the Suicide Squad. The heroes who will face off against Adam are also already known. Adam will have to deal with the Justice Society of America, consisting of Atom Smasher, Hawkman, Cyclone, and Dr. Fate. Adam Smasher, whose real name is Albert Julian Rothstein, is embodied by Noah Centineo. He's one of the lesser-known names on the cast. Most recently, he made an appearance in the romance films To All the Boys and in the remake of Charlie's Angels. Carter Hall, aka Hawkman, is played by Aldis Hodge. He made his screen debut back in 1995 in Die Hard with a Vengeance. The young and ambitious actor Quintessa Swindell will be portraying the heroine Cyclone. Swindell is considered among the few non-binary outed celebrities in Hollywood. So far, they could be seen in the movie Voyagers, which was released in 2021. The star figure in Justice Society of America is played by none other than the 007 legend Pierce Brosnan. He plays the role of Dr. Fate, also known as Kent Nelson. He's a founding member of the society. Moreover, like Black Adam, he got his strength from an ancient wizard, which he discovered during excavations. Additionally, actors Sarah Shahi, Marvin Kenzari, Uli Latukefu, James Kusati Moyer, Bodhi Zabangui, and Mohamed Amar are already noted as part of the cast. Sadly, little is known about their roles as of yet. Before we look at the potential storyline, let's take a closer look at the Justice Society of America. Most of you probably don't know much about it unless you've read the comics. The JSA is a sort of predecessor to the Justice League, or at least it appeared much early in the comics. Its founding members were Adam, Dr. Fate, Flash, Green Lantern, Hawkman, Hourman, Sandman, and Spectre. Three of them will now be featured in Black Adam as well. Atom Smasher is basically the DC version of Ant-Man. However, unlike his Marvel counterpart, he isn't in need of a suit, rather he inherited the abilities from his grandfather. He can change his size as he pleases, thus literally smashing atoms. In the comics, Rothstein is actually one of Black Adam's best friends for a while, when he himself belonged to the JSA. The two of them turned their backs on the group together as they had different views of what justice meant. 
Our next hero, Hawkman, also has a strong bond with Adam. He is the reincarnation of an Egyptian prince played by Alice Hodge. This prince lived at the same time as Adam thousands of years ago. His armor was forged from a crashed spaceship, even granting the wearer the ability to fly. Hodge can also access the knowledge of all incarnations, which has often proven to be a potent weapon in the fight against evil. Cyclone alias Maxine Hunkel is the granddaughter of the original Red Tornado, who was also a member of the JSA. When she was a little girl, she was kidnapped by the mad scientist Moro, who gave her the nanobytes of the second android tornado. The bites seemed to have no effect on her at first, so she grew up to be a young, intelligent student at Harvard University until she suddenly developed superhuman powers which she was not yet able to control. This is how she destroyed her grandma's garage by sneezing, or how she woke up in a twister. As a result, the JSA decided to take her in and help her learn to master her skills. Dr. Fate, also known as Kent Nelson, used to be the son of an archaeologist. The two of them were exploring a pyramid in Mesopotamia during which they found the tomb of the magician Nabu. The pair mistakenly thought him to be dead and upon his reawakening, Kent's father died. Wanting to ease his grief, the wizard took Kent in as his student and over the years, he instructed him about magic. When he completed his training, Nabu gave him the Helmet of Fate and the Cloak of Destiny together with the Amulet of Anubis. He turned into Dr. Fate and was able to keep in touch with the spirit of Nabu via the Helmet, who was able to assist him with his future exploits. At present, we can only speculate about the plot. It is conceivable that the first third of the film will illuminate the background of Black Adam, from ancient Egypt to his first battle with Shazam. Once he reawakens, he will surely continue to try to impose his ideas of justice onto the new modern world, clashing with the JSA in the process. Perhaps he will even join them briefly, as he did in the comics. Whether there will be a big all-out battle remains to be seen. Above all, that depends on what DC has in store for the newly introduced heroes. In all likelihood, they won't be able to ultimately beat Black Adam as a crossover will certainly follow in Shazam 2 or 3. After all, one thing is certain. When The Rock enters a franchise, it's usually hard to imagine it without him. So in turn, if he destroys the JSA, the four members of the Justice Society of America had a very brief appearance in the DCEU. We rather assume that they will be defeated and weaken, forcing them to retreat for the time being in order to take up the fight against Black Adam again at a later point in time, joined by Shazam. Well, we will definitely know more as soon as the first trailer is out or at the latest on July 29th, 2022, which is when the film is scheduled to be released in US theaters. So that's it, we presented you with everything important related to Black Adam and the Justice Society of America. What do you think? What kind of storyline do you have in mind? If you have any other ideas, feel free to write them down in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you should do so now so that you do not miss the first trailer of Black Adam.